Rated M for Mature. Sniper Elite 4 is quite the veteran now, giving us sandbox sniping delight since the halcyon days of 2017. But if you think you know it inside out, keep watching for six paradigm shifters that prove how much you've still got to discover. Four years ago, Sniper Elite gained a fourth series entrant, and this Italian adventure would be more expansive, more sandboxy. Carl's haircut would be more crisply shaven, the levels infinitely more rich in detail. So deep in fact is Sniper Elite 4's world that even now we're still finding new things you can do, new sights to see, new secrets to uncover and new ways to fall out with each other in multiplayer matches. So as we begin a series of videos that celebrate the history of Sniper Elite, we bring you six things that you might not have known about wily old Carl and his capers across the Mediterranean. Hopefully we got you with at least one of these, but if you were already aware of all six, well, we salute you. You truly know SE4 inside out, and you'd probably enjoy a bit more from this channel, so hit the subscribe button and ding the notification bell for more from us. Now then, first we make a journey to a church with an odd mural. Gareth? Thanks, Phil. Here at the Regilino Viaduct, you can see some truly wonderful views. It's all set within a massive valley, so nature's really giving a helping hand when it comes to vistas. But we're not here to collect holiday photos of the titular viaduct, or indeed the beautiful verdant valley from the other side when you're standing on the viaduct itself. Instead, we're going inside. Because here in this church, there's a rather odd mural. Most of it's textbook religious art, clouds, halos, muscular old men, with flowing white hair and beards, sure. Cups of tea though, well, I have so many questions. Where did St. Peter get a kettle from, let alone a tea bag and a fine china set? Truly, it is the divine kingdom up there. Anyway, this little easter egg passed most of the community by until our own developers at Rebellion revealed it during a stream. Next up is a move that's testament to Sniper Elite 4's sandbox cred, and it's the old sticky bomb move. Many items in Carl's loadout have two modes, if you will, one modifying the base behaviour for a more specialist use, like the humble grenade, the old potato masher. Switch it from default to sticky in the radial menu and it will, just like it promises, stick to whatever surface it's launched on, even if that surface is someone's immaculately ironed Nazi regalia. From then on, it's pretty much game over for them. I mean, if they were as fast as lightning, they could strip off and leg it away, but they're not as fast as lightning, so they get turned to jam. But here's the really good bit. If you start thinking about your sticky grenade target as a human bomb, then it makes sense to lure a big group of his mates around him before lobbing it. Amazing what can be achieved with just a rock, a bit of whistling, and a high-powered explosive covered in adhesive. Every level in this game is massive and replete with both many indoor areas and acres of outdoor space. So I mean, it's reasonable to expect that even by now you haven't charted it all like some obsessive allied cartographer taking breaks between sketching topography to pop off a few Nazi skulls. And yet, the rewards are there for the folks who do go that extra mile. Case in point is the secret little den built into the solid rock walls of the Magetsano facility. Not only is this level immense, it's also very densely populated, so exploration's especially tricky here, but if you manage to make it to the southeast caves where this destroy machines objective is on the map, run along the thin corridor right at the edge of the map, and walk through this leafy canopy, voila! A cosy little bunker with all of the ammo your guns can eat, and a little easter egg to ponder over in the form of this photo. Next up on our list of things you probably still haven't discovered about Sniper Elite 4 is the ability to shoot grenades. And we say probably advisedly here because it's bound to be a few of you who routinely ricochet shot grenades just after they leave an enemy's hand as you progress through your no manual saves authentic plus playthrough. But for the rest of us, well we're simple people, we see a grenade, we run. But if you do manage to blow up an explosive before it leaves its owner's belt or Heavens, even when it's mid-air, the benefits are obvious. It blows up before it gets close enough to you to do any damage. You don't have to move out of your little hidey hole and risk being spotted. It looks cool, and you can use empty lung to make the target that little bit easier to hit. 
None of us are strangers to the inner workings of a soldier at this point. X-ray kill cams have been giving us anatomy lessons at breakneck speed, often literally, since Sniper Elite 4 first came out in 2017. But there's a rarer breed of X-ray kill cam you might not yet have seen. In fact, you might not have even known it existed. The multiplayer X-ray shot. Cropping up infrequently when you land an absolutely sick shot on unsuspecting opponents, this is the ultimate humiliation. Isn't that right, Phil? Who I'm X-ray kill coming right now. Humiliation. Anyway, these are rare because multiplayer is all about split-second reflexes and staying in the moment so Sniper Elite 4 doesn't want to pull you out of that too often. If you've played a fair bit of multiplayer and haven't seen this, that's why. That or you just haven't done a sick enough shot yet. Give it time. When you tag an enemy through the Beano's, they'll show up on your HUD when you go back to normal view, which is handy for keeping track of them all. But when you linger on them a bit longer through the Beano's, you also get a bit of allied intel on them. And some of it is pretty spicy. Take these lot on Sansalini Island alone. Tadeas Berger killed a US soldier who was surrendering. Edmund Hartig set fire to a town. Erwald Amsel regularly steals chocolate from his best friend Wolfram Wasser. Frankly, I'm a bit disappointed with some of these Nazis, it's like they have absolutely no moral code or something. Fortunately, these ones exist only as pixelated representations within a virtual realm, and those pixels can be dismantled by clicking on them in just the right places. Phew. Still though, after all these years, Sniper Elite 4's Nazi population is probably still keeping a few secrets from you. Right then, how many of those did you already know about? Tell us in the comments and anyone with a secret or mechanical revelation of their own, let's see you down there too. Every day is school day when you're trying to master a sandbox sniping game with simulated bullet drop, as the old adage goes. You know the drill, it's the end of the video, so this is where I ask you to consider liking and subscribing for more, and wish you well until we meet again in the next video.